was like 94. I'm riding in the bush. Yeah. She must have took 10 minutes out of push with her Zimmer frame, right? I'm waiting. She goes to the ticket machine, back again, I'm jumping out, like whoosh, slapping the ticket on. I'll tell you, mate, she had no chance. No chance, mate. That's what I love about you, Trevor, you're a bastard. <laughs> yeah. They call me clumsy. Underneath your bum, underneath. Heavy influence to use my tongue as an instrument. Accompanied by somebody they call the Beardy Man. UK champion. A partner in crime for this parking and fine 9 to 5 occupation that we crafted, designed with E4 and we thought that we'd walk the streets as never before as warden causing up more when we stick sticking tickets on with cars are poor men and women innocent within the scene acted out before them in a city full of fumes and exhaustion without a warning while recording I've got a ticket and we're coming to cordon you off Let that be a warning Excuse me, sir, can I just confer, uh, is that legitimate that you're carrying there? Do you have a license to carry that on this road, on this high street? I'm excited by the fact we could take that, confiscate that, take it back to the station, in fact. Can I see your license of a permit? That's right, he's no hermit. If you ain't getting past us, is it worth it? If you ain't got one, carrying it along the road. And you've got one as well. Don't you go anywhere, stand there, by the window, because we got a answers and questions. What direction were you going in before we intercepted? We need to find you, take your money, that's right, collect it. I'm not messing, and don't get stressing. So, uh, is that legitimate? Because um, there's a new rule, uh, unless they are official council uh, hand luggage, you're not allowed to actually carry it around on the street. Can I ask where you purchased that from, sir? And, and you, sir? Corner. You've got to be exact, I need you to be a bit warmer. And I'm going to ask you again, sir. Where did you purchase that? Oh, we've got a problem here, Steve. They're refusing to cooperate. <laughs> Excuse me there, sir. Excuse me. Um, you do know you're not allowed to park here, sir. That sounds actually fucking off. Sorry? That sounds like you're fucking souls. So that doesn't actually count, sir, uh, un unless you're uh, ten inches in from, from the yellow stage, oh, sir. That sounds like you're fucking souls. In fact, I think you're fine. Because if you parked here, yeah, okay. you never could do uh, actually uh, two feet over the line. But if you were two feet under the line, then it wouldn't make any difference because it's still uh, the wrong time of the day because that's the old time. <coughs> uh, and in fairness. Well, no, if, you, if, if you come on this side, if you, what's up? I mean, basically. Uh, to, 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 you, we prefer if you park near the curb, sir. When it said we should leave him alone. So we can't leave you alone. You're in a non-par parking zone, so we can't leave you alone. So you're ten centimetres over there. If you shift it just a little, you would complete this, and we could then confer no more. I'm sure you understand. As you open your door, and I'm ready. It's in my hand. I would ask you to move forward a little bit more old Bill there in the road and they might just push us away so you know we should probably go and not till we get this man to sign this piece of paper. <laughs> Dad, I'm just doing my job. So give me less of your gob, lad. Give me less of your gob. I just don't want to catch a just my count. If you want us to disallow the park job, which you've done. Just so we back and forward up there, we can come around the back. Yeah. How do you know? What should I have done? If there's no way, sir, that you can not move the car from not this location. Yeah, see, see, like, the back around there, you move that, it's too far to that, mate. Oh, all right. Well, if you could please Move. Your. So if you could turn something at the end, if you could turn it around, put it in there, put it back with no parking, put it back around to the right of the road, and then you come to the left and go to the bank and come back. So if you move the car up to there, to go around with no parking, turn it around, go down there, left on the right, go to the bank, come back. If you take it up there to the no parking, turn it around, go do the left on the right, go to the bank, and then back. And then back. Okay. Or a £50 fine, sir. 20 quid and we won't say anything.
Well, by the time you get back, sir, we're going to come around and get your tickets up in the front, because there's a window open, and you can go. Are you proper traffic? Yeah, of course we are. No, 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 we are. No, we are, actually. Oh. We've got to amuse ourselves on day jokes. There's nothing funny about this, mate. I know, I know. Let me go and get some cash. No, uh, you understand, you can't go to the bank, because by the time we get back, we're going to put a ticket on there, it's going to cost oh. 50 quid, and you're going to turn around and go to the end of the, <laughs> to the bike, and you move some night, like, drive off with the car, and it's going to be clamped. That's right, and I'm damp, Dave. You might be able to move in the way. That's right, to the left or the right, sway, round in the corner, do a little turn. That's right, you'll never learn as we park here, sir. You need to learn. The bank is miles round. You should have gone first, that's right. We're about to burst on the scene. It's coffee warning him. They call him Steve. They call me. Bed. Sometimes they call me Reg or Dickhead. That's life. That's the way it goes. On a knife edge. It's life. Oh. So 50 quid, sir. No, you're right. Do you know how long have you been doing this job, Steve? About uh, 20 years. Started when I was five. Started when you were five? Yeah, I did. Did. Yeah, yeah. So most of your life? Yeah, well, yeah, all my life. I was born at five, to be honest. Very long pregnancy. My really? mum, bless her, yeah, yeah, huge she was. Do you know, I like Fox of Astra's name personally. I do like Fox of Astra's, they're great. Sir, so, would your Astra really have to uh, suggest that uh, you don't put your cash in the machine there because we have to give you a ticket? Yeah, sorry. It's probably not, it's probably not, not worth parking because we'll, we'll, we will give you a ticket. I for, mean, they need to replace the signs in time, really. They're supposed to do it last week, but I think someone was off ill and so they seek to do it next. Well, don't get vexed or perplexed. You're going to be the next man with a ticket. You're going to put it on your window. Would you mind if I stick it? But you can't rip it. Can I kick it? Yes, I can. Can I kick it? Do you want a ticket? Okay. So, honest truth, then, where can I park, then? my job. Ticket one, ticket one, just doing my job. Now just hold up my hand and say you're parked in a part of the land and you're not supposed to, it's grand, I know. And you're in there cutting air, but really you should be moving it else somewhere, because this is yellow, a double yellow line, and my double yellow rhymes come out of my mouth one word at a time. It's a sign, but not a B-sign or a P-sign, that's right. A relief sign, like a, a release form or a sticker, a ticket on your window, and everything will be fine. Yeah. I'll get right on that. I'm oh, safe. you can get on that, I'll get on that rap. Percept. Set. Wait, set. Are they legal to have chocolate in your in your car, sir? Oh, yeah, really? Hey, chocolate. Sh you bribable bitch. Oh, we got yeah. chocolate. <laughs> nice one, Trev. Chocolate. chocolate. Yay! <clears throat>